Kenegoti, Goti, eager to resume our investigations. I know I am. Do you recall that scrap of alien starship we recovered? Well, Inspector Brandy Hill has employed his unsettling calculative capacity to extrapolate the damage to the greater whole, and he has concluded that the vessel would be incapable of flight without extensive repairs. Our most likely scenario, then, is that some unknown agent made off with the starship wreckage, along with Popo's acquaintance. Fortunately, I have a fair idea who that, unknown agent, might be. After all, there is a singularly shadowy cabal with a history of concealing extraterrestrial activity. Actually, let's head over to Kama first. The inspector and the others are staying in a dwelling there, and I'd rather not explain myself twice. Nashu and her friends will be staying here a while longer, it seems. I do hope it's not my house that has brought them all this bad luck. This may not be the best time to share my confusions. A most terrible development. Oh, Kaneko team, I'm so worried for Master Poo Poo. Is horrible misfortune, Kaneko teen. Calamitous, even. Poor Master Poo Poo has fallen gravely ill. He's so bluish green. More so, I mean. Could he have caught a cold? I suppose it was quite chilly up there in Garlamal. Popo is an alien. Who knows what extraterrestrial diseases might be ravaging his body. Nash's delights are the best medicine for whatever ails you, as the inspector himself can attest. Good gods, Nashu, you'll blow our host's domicile to pieces. Put them away. Ahem, if I may. When I was cloned from the inspector, certain gaps in my knowledge were patched with supplementary data from the Starship's archives. This information included an encyclopedic understanding of Master Poo Poo's physiology, which should be sufficient for me to diagnose his condition. Exenon Man Hybrid Mind. That explains the impossible calculations. I have it. Master Poo Poo is afflicted by a terrible case of the common cold. Gods grant me strength. As a visitor to Atheris, Master Poo Poo has no prior exposure to our maladies. He is thus particularly susceptible to infection, and more likely to experience severe symptoms. Aha! Tis just as I surmised. We must put aside the case until we have nursed our stricken companion back to health. But even if it is a common cold, isn't there a risk that our medicines do him more harm than good? They almost certainly would. 
Based on the results of my analysis, however, I believe I can synthesize an effective remedy. We need but gather the ingredients. Then ingredients you shall have. So, what are we gathering exactly? Most of what we require can be drawn from Master Poop Poo's collected samples. Otherwise, there are only two which we lack. The first of these is the liver of a giant tortoise, a suitable organ can be extracted from one of the kakapa which wander salt winds welcome. Ah, the slaughtering of a monstrous opponent. That sounds like a job for Kaneko team. The other material in question is a rare fungus known as damp shroom, which I am hoping can be found among the Great Works extensive stock of alchemical reagents. Very well. Nashu, Delian, and I will scour the alchemist's shelves. Meanwhile, I would ask that you remain here and keep an eye on our ailing patient. Inspector Brandy Hilt, you're such an expert on all things Thavnair. Oh, I wouldn't say expert. Simple conclusions from simple observations, nothing more. A as I said, I am hoping the alchemists have the damp shroom we need, but it really is quite rare. Once you have the tortoise liver, would you be so kind as to assist the others in procuring the fungus? Then let us not prolong Master Poo Poo's suffering a moment longer. It seems we have a job to do. Further discussion of the abduction will have to wait. Obtaining a Kakapa's liver should prove no great obstacle to one of your capabilities, Kaneko team. Tis the damp shroom which concerns me. I rather enjoy gazing out upon the aetherite from here. Its gentle spinning never fails to stimulate the mind and calm the heart, perfect for when I'm struggling with one of my alchemical creations. Your mission was successful, I assume. Ours is ongoing. Who knew a lamp shroom would be so difficult to find? Kaneko team, I had every confidence you would bring us a suitable liver. Alas, the Dangshroom yet eludes us. The alchemists said the fungus has few applications, 
so they don't bother to stock it most of the time. Then I must put my keen inspector's sense to work. Stand back whilst I attune myself with the essence of the dank. Damn. The word is, damn true. And you will forgive me if I have no faith in your abilities. Tis close, my friends. And getting closer and closer even as we speak. I hear you folk are in the market for damp shrooms. I might have some to sell, if you're interested. Uh, but how? We certainly are, my fine fellow. Right then, if you'll give me a moment to retrieve the goods, we can finalize our transaction up on the perfumed rice. Was it genuine clairvoyance, or sheer coincidence? I'm not sure anymore. Though in all fairness, when it comes to Inspector Hildebrand, preternatural perception is one of his least baffling talents. In any case, we should hurry to the rise and take this man up on his timely offer. Our quest for medicinal components nears its end. Stay strong, Master Poo Poo. ZZZ. The inspector. Saves the day. Again. I wonder. Does this not strike you as a touch convenient, if not contrived? You're here, good, good. And here is the damp shroom, as promised. Oh ho, glad we are for your assistance. Ah ha ha, not so fast. There is still the matter of payment. Of course, of course. And how much do we owe you, my good man? Considering the extreme rarity of the fungus in question, I couldn't let it go for less than, one million gil. A million gil for one measly mushroom? That's outright robbery. A bargain, I counter, you would pay tenfold my price in the markets. I thought to do you a kindness in light of your urgent need. But I am more than willing to find another buyer if you wish to spit upon my generosity. Nashu, how fare we for coin? We're plumb out, Inspector. Ah, then this is a prickly pickle. Where are we to obtain sufficient funds at such short notice?
Kainakotin, our savior in every sense of the word. Give that man nothing. We have you now, deceitful scum. Your swindling days are over. Rads at Han City Guard, at your service. We'd received reports of this man's questionable activities and have been keeping a close eye on him ever since. Dampshroom is a rare find in the bazaar, to be sure, but only because there's no real demand for it. The price this charlatan quoted you was, quite frankly, ludicrous. But thanks to your ignorance and poor judge of character, we were able to catch him in the act. As a token of our gratitude, you are welcome to keep the fungus, assuming you still want it? Yes, very much so. That is very, er, magnanimous of you. Bah, you think I enjoy tricking fools out of their coin? If that bastard hadn't declared my job redundant, I wouldn't have needed to stoop so low. He blames a rising star among the merchant princes for his woes. Van Hudy, I believe his name was. Purchased the trading consortium where the man was working, which led to a restructuring of the hierarchy. Put a lot of people out of work. Van Hudy, Van Hudy. I know that name. Something about an acquisitions deal gone sour? Father was willing to sell him a slice of his Hanish enterprise, I think, but bought when the man offered to buy our family business in its entirety. Truly, there is no telling how deep the coffers of this Van Hudy are. Nor do any know the secret of how he amassed such kingly wealth so damnably fast. There are whispers, though, that he solved alchemy's oldest and most legendary of problems, the transmutation of base metal into gold. Unlikely to say the least, but whatever the source of Van Hudy's riches, he shows no reluctance in spending them, he's bought a historic temple to serve as his home, and commissioned a private airship, among other extravagant expenditures. Nice for some, eh? C.O.R., that swindling case had barely started before you solved it, Inspector. Ah, uh, ha ha ha. All in a day's work, my dear Nashu. I believe our business upon this scented hill is concluded. Let us hurry the ingredients back to Inspector Brandy Hild, shall we? I may have mollified his lordship with the secrets of divine manifestation, but the stench of failure yet clings to me. I must redeem myself in his eyes by crushing my most hated foe. We he he.
Nashu and her friends will be staying here a while longer, it seems. I do hope it's not my house that has brought them all this bad luck. After all that, we paid not a single gill for the damp shoe. The manifestation of such windfalls must be another facet of the inspector's uncannily good fortune. If Inspector Brandyhild's remedy fails, we can always try my explosive cure-all. Your suffering nears its end, Master Poo Poo. Inspector Hildebrand tells me you have the liver to go along with his damp shroom. A fine specimen, thank you. I will be mixing the ingredients in the starship, so let us convey Master Poo Poo outside that we may administer his medicine as soon as it is ready. This should be sufficiently remote. I'll have the craft come to us and we can commence the treatment. I feel so much better. I cannot thank you all enough. Master Poo Poo recovered his strength in mere moments. Twould seem his powers of recuperation are just as advanced as his technology. I came here from another world, a stranger you've no cause to trust, and yet you've treated me so kindly. The people of this star are so very welcoming. Ha, you are our dear friend now, Master Poo Poo. Tis our pleasure to help. And it will be my pleasure to harm. same trick twice.
impudent worms. Taste my full power. You took the full force of that destructive beam, yet there you stand. Somewhat singed but apparently unharmed. I have pondered and puzzled over this inexplicable fortitude of yours, and feel compelled to ask. Are you an alien? Ah ha ha, a fine jest. But I assure you, I am without a doubt a Nulda and born Manderville of terrestrial iron stock. He's Heil Die Brand, agent of inquiry and inspector extraordinaire. What more do you need to know? Where to even begin, but never mind. We have more pressing matters. Such as locating Master Poo-Poo's missing comrade. Tis time we reopened the case of the silent correspondent. Yes, exactly. And I have a firm theory as to who it was that took the wreckage and its erstwhile pilot. The Shaliyans. I'm all but certain they have allied with insidious extraterrestrials. Which means they'll be under orders to remove any evidence of alien activity. I wager we'll find what we are looking for in old Charlian. We need only infiltrate their operations and expose this nefarious conspiracy. While Master Delian's theory does lack supporting facts, we have no other promising leads to pursue at present. Moreover, I understand that Charlian sets the standard for monitoring astronomical and astrological phenomena. Mayhap their experts have been tracking extraterrestrial movements. Ahem, I've spoken out of turn. Please. Forgive my presumptuousness. Nay, my friend. I, too, sense our path points to the Isle of Archons. Pack your bags, everyone. We leave for Charlie immediately. <laughs> 